we have gotten uh, in this world and, and in both the United Kingdom and the United States and a number of other countries so into spin, uh, so into shoveling bullshit that we don't know the truth. And uh, when you're dealing with science, you better start dealing with the truth because it will certainly bite you in the ass if you don't. Pardon language. And uh, spin uh, isn't science. The true science deals in, in factual evidence and factual truth. And we're not dealing in facts right now with this uh, when it comes to British Petroleum and the Obama administration. All we're dealing in is spin. And they better get on this and get on it big time. And the people of this planet need to start insisting that this issue be addressed and addressed scientifically, successfully. Time is short. So we're, we're wasting time week after week, while we're allowing this to continue without a, a, a scientific addressment of how can we turn it around. If we don't turn it around, we go into an ice age. We can barely feed the people we have now. What will happen? A third, two thirds of us will die, you know? I mean, the scenarios when you start talking about the early 21st century going in ice age are beyond horrific. They're biblical. Okay. So we need to deal with this and we need to deal with it while we can. And uh, just uh, whacking people like Matt Simmons is not going to, uh, it may keep the story killed for a short while, but the story's not going to go away and the spin's not going to change it. And uh, it's kind of like the old king, uh, what's his face, where his courier said, you know, you can stop the tide from coming in. And he said, no, I can't. He had, had his throne carried down the ocean. He commanded the tide not to come in. And uh, the tide came in anyway. Well, all the spin and all the hot air is not going to change this horrific nightmare that's been set, this train of events that's been set in motion. We're going to have to do something scientifically to change it. Okay? It's not political hot air won't get it. Thank you for having me on. God bless.